in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get dirt pads using the new Leaf Save Editor. But before we get into that, I'm going to give you all a quick rundown of how the Save Editor works. All rare Animal Crossing products sold right here. Hit that link below. So you're going to drag your file into the website. This is your town map where you place things. And this is your map layout if you want to change that. You can click on a square and replace it with a square that will fit. These are all the items that are placed on the map right now. So if you right click on an item, then it'll appear at the top and then you can place it on the map just by clicking. And if you want to delete items, right click on a blank square and then just place a blank square over the items. If you want to remove everything, right click on an item and press remove all and it will remove all the trees move a location of a building you can either type in the coordinates so like this square is 79 by 42 so you would type that in or you can click the little hand next to the building and then click the square you want it to be so villagers houses are three by three and player houses are more of this size public works projects depend Don't move the side that your campground is on or it will glitch it up. And don't move the square that the dock is if you have a dock. And this town does. Because if you move that, you won't be able, well, Cap'n will be all like out of place. If you want to search for an item, you can type it in on the search bar on the top left and then click the item. These are the wallpapers for that room. These are the patterns. You can put a pattern in if you exported it from another save file. So like I do, I have one here. So now that pattern will be in the save file. This is the house exterior. The encyclopedia, uh, you can fill catalog, emotions. The fill catalog doesn't really work for me and neither does the excitement. This is the bank account. Now that's the max amount of bells that you could hold in the bank. And then Isla Medals and Meow Coupons. You can change your birthday here, your face, well your eye shape, and your eye color. Four is my favorite because it's blue. And then your hair if you want, but not a big deal. You can change your name here. And then other players, you just click on the pictures if they are on the on if they're uploaded. You can change the town name here and then the native fruit. This will allow you to plant perfect trees of whatever fruit you have in there. So like this town you could plant perfect peach trees. And then the town hall in the train station color and then unlock all public works projects. town tree size that's how big your town plaza tree is and then the museum rooms if you want to put stuff in there if that is unlocked in the town the island you can place things here that you wouldn't be able to get there like money trees and hybrid flowers villagers you can change what villagers you have here just click on the little pencil next to it and then start typing the villager you want So say I wanted an apple tree, if we were trying to get a perfect apple tree, you can click any of those. Those are just the stages that are growing. So for perfect apple tree, you go to the right under custom and then there's no fruit and then perfect zero, not sure what that is. And then perfect one will have one perfect fruit on it and then perfect four, all the fruits will be perfect. Place that down and then if you want to get another perfect tree, so you have two different kinds of perfect trees. Just do the same thing 
and there you go. That's how you have multiple perfect fruit trees in your town. You can figure out what item it is just by scrolling over it. If you want to add a building, go up to the top, press add building, and then pick which public works project you like. I'll pick a windmill, scroll to the bottom, it'll have zero zero on it, and then click the hand and, and place it where you want it to be. You're probably going to want to save as you go, because if you're like me, you accidentally click the backspace too often and lose all your progress. So when you're done, just press save changes. Now that you know the basics of the save editor, let me show you how to make dirt pads. So you want to scroll down to the bottom in the grass square. Zoom in a little bit. You're going to want to fully revive it. So everything will be green. And then press dessert one or two times. You're gonna right click where you want to make the dirt path. This is very tedious and you can't really see where you are. So one click does an automatic four squares on the regular save editor. You can left click to put grass back over it. So you can make single paths by doing that. So you can either make paths and then guess where they are doing this, or you can make dirt paths on here and then go in the town and place landscaping around it. So I'm just guessing, I know my paths pretty well, but I'm just kind of guessing on here where they would fall. And I saw a lot of pictures with single lane dirt paths and really liked the look of that, so I'll be doing that throughout the town. But I do think the, the double layer looks good too. There are ways to naturally do it in your town without hacking, but that is just as hard. I read that you have to run the paths, save and quit, go back in on the same day and run the paths again. You cannot skip days without doing this or they will grow back. So I do like this option better because you can put them exactly where you want. This method is for people that don't mind staying on the same day. So before I did this, I picked a day that I wanted to stay on. And I picked a green day in the summer, June 2nd, for whatever reason. And that's the day that this town will forever stay on. You can go backwards though in time. So you can change the season that way, but don't go forward. Yeah, it's not ideal to reset the date every time you go into the town, but think of everything else that you can do with that. You don't have to constantly dig up flowers that grow onto your paths or dig up bamboo sprouts. You can place trees next to public works projects and buildings. You can also have trees and bamboo at different stages and they will stay there. Kind of like Happy Home Designer. There's just a lot of benefits to this other than just keeping your paths brown. But I would definitely recommend this to someone who has already upgraded all their buildings read all the flowers they want to breed, and stuff like that. I did go forward a few days just to see what would happen, and the town wasn't... The paths were still there. I think they had a little bit of grass growing back on it, but it's not the end of the world if you do accidentally skip forward a day. But I'm just going to continue to make these paths and then check back in with you.
okay, I made my rough draft. Now we're gonna go see where the paths laid down on the town. And this is how you check your progress and see where you need to move the paths. You can just leave your town up and go throughout the town, adjusting each line. I'm actually surprised how close I was. Yeah, I'll need to make a lot of adjustments, but some of these paths were spot on. Gonna have to remove a lot of the shrubs. This path led right to their house. I'm really surprised. Look how pretty this area is. I love it. Dirt pads really give your town that wow factor. I'm going to go ahead and make adjustments and then we'll go back into the town. So I actually went in another time to edit the pads and then now we have the finished product. So let's go view that now. This town is nowhere near being done landscaped. Maybe I'll do that in another video. So now they're exactly where I want them after like three or four hours of doing this, but totally worth it. Cause now I will have these forever as long as I stay on the same day. I'm really excited to landscape this town and finish it up.
I found it really fun to make like a square, like the dirt path making a square and then just filling that. Maybe putting a public works project in it. I think that looks really pretty. I feel like my town just went from like an 8.5 to an 11. Like I'm so excited for these paths. And I'll just give you kind of a zoomed out view of the paths and how they look. Let me know down in the comments if you think this is something that you will try. If you learned something new, leave a like. And if you like this video, you'll probably like my other videos too. So subscribe for more of those. We're almost at 500 subscribers. Thank you for everyone who's been there and everyone new that's subscribing. As a way to give back, we can do a giveaway contest. So to enter this contest, you'll need to send a link of one of my videos to someone you know. It can be an online group or just a friend. Screenshot it, send it to my Instagram, and then comment down below letting me know that you sent it. And I will like your comment to let you know that you've been entered. You can enter up to five times per person. I will be picking three winners who get to pick any furniture set that they want. There probably won't be as many people entering this time, so a better chance for you to win. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Here's footage from my last video. Click here to watch it. If you plan on joining a live stream, add these friend codes here because I won't be giving them out during the live streams.